Welcome to Gantt View. This is your place to plan time, manage resources, visualize dependencies, and so much more. Anytime you want to create a new Gantt View, just click on the plus sign, and under Task Views, select Gantt. Your new Gantt view will be focused in on the space, folder, or list you were in at the time you created the view. I can see my folder and lists in my left sidebar, and I can click to hide or expand these items on my chart. Any scheduled tasks I have will automatically appear in my Gantt view. I can also choose to show scheduled subtasks by clicking here. If I have unscheduled tasks or subtasks, I can click to expand those in the sidebar. From there, it's as simple as clicking, dragging and dropping them onto my chart to schedule them. You can see that now that I've scheduled this task, it's adjusted the date of the parent list. This is because a list dates are based on the actual first start date and last due date of its tasks. If you've set up dates for a list in the list info section, you'll see those planned dates indicated by the small gray bar underneath the actual dates for a list. Additionally, as you complete tasks, you'll see the progress percentage update for lists and even folders by hovering over them. I'll be able to tell if there are dependencies between my tasks and subtasks by these links, and I can set up new dependencies by hovering over a task and linking it to another. I can reschedule items in bulk by dragging and dropping them, And I can even sort my chart by clicking on these arrows. Click on the droplet icon to choose how you want to color code your tasks. You can also view different date scales on your Gantt view by clicking on the calendar. Or enable different view settings here. Choose which items you want to show or hide on each of your task cards and choose if you want to enable reschedule dependencies. When this is enabled, dragging a task with dependencies will automatically reschedule all subsequent tasks in the chain. You can turn Use Weekends off to automatically schedule all visible tasks on a weekend to the following Monday. And you can even choose to calculate critical path. This will determine the chain of tasks crucial to a project's completion. This helps so you can see which tasks can be rescheduled without affecting larger deadlines. Anytime you make a change to the layout of your Gantt view, you have the option to save changes to the layout. Choose to auto save changes on this view, which will save the changes for everyone in your workplace. You can also click on the ellipses next to a Gantt view to select from different viewing options. For example, you can make this the default view for everyone in your workplace, choose to enable me mode for everyone, and even do things like make this a personal view so only you can see it, or protect the layout. Protecting a view layout will prevent anyone from changing the layout until it's unprotected by a person who has permissions to do so. Lastly, you can always save a view as a favorite. Click on the star icon in the upper left corner to access your favorites anytime. This is the perfect way to jump between different views, so you can always come back to that Gantt view that you've created. That's all for Gantt View, but if you have any other questions, just let us know at help at clickup.com.